Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. Oops. <laughs> well, it's it seems like it's been a little while. How is everybody? I'm going to be painting today with inks. So I've got my my palette out here. And the inks I'm going to be using are the in color inks. And if you hear a little sound in the background, that is Polly Wog, and she may be paying us a visit in a little bit. Um, the colors I have are Wild Wheat, I have Copper Clay, I have Pecan Pie, which is actually a new color, it's not part of the in colors, but I'm looking for autumn colors today, so I thought these would work well. And then I have um, Pebbled Path, Moody Mauve, and I think that's about all I'm going to be using. Um, the stamp set I'm using is this one. It's called Fruitful Blessings, and it has acorns. A single acorn, a pair of pears, a little autumnal kind of a bouquet, and some leaves, and it has some cute um, sentiments. So that's what I'm going to use. I have my Fluid 100 paper here. So this is Fluid 100. It's a watercolor paper, and I've cut these in half. So these are half sheets to make them a little more manageable because I'm going to be using my cut and emboss machine on these um, to cut them out for a special project that I'm going to be showcasing tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'll be back tomorrow at, at 2 p.m. Now, before we go any further, this is Pollywog. Okay, so Pollywog She's got cobwebs all over her face for Halloween. She's getting her costume on. She is a tiny baby kitten that just came to Dandelion Cottage a few days ago. And she's just figuring everything out. She's exploring. Everything's new to her. And, uh, and today she's thinking about walking across my ink palette, which would not be so great. So let me put her down. She'll be back in a minute, no doubt. Now, one of the things that I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using the uh, information that I share with you in my upcoming class called Coloring Apples Four Ways. And this is an example of the apple with the watercolor pencils, the stamping blends. This is painting with ink, which we're going to do today. And this is painting with traditional watercolor. So there's still time to sign up for this class. You're going to get supplies in the card kit to make four different card designs. Here you can see the, um, the stamped image of that branch of apples that sort of popped up on this deckled background. And then here we have a kind of a gatefold card and it says the greatest gift is a good friend on the inside and you've got this beautiful deckled area to write your message and it features that gorgeous distressed gold paper. And then there's gonna be a couple of others. So if you're interested in coloring apples four ways, there's still time to register for that. You can find the link right here. And, um, and the registration closes on September 30th, which is coming right up. So be careful you don't miss that. So I'm going to be using the information that you learn in that class on today's projects. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm 
stamp some of these images. And I'm going to go ahead and do this twice. Okay, so there, there's the acorns. They're so pretty. I love acorns. And then I've got the pear, the pair of pears. And I'm going, I'm going to be using a bunch of these, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp duplicates, although I'll just paint one today to show you. And I also like this little single acorn. Maybe I can get another one of those. Alright, so that's the stamping done. If you hear a little sound in the background, I'm having some some work done on the house, and um, and I and I have no idea when that's going to be finished. So my apologies, but um, that's my friend, my good friend Beanie, making sure that everything's ship shape here. All right, so now for my palette. I'm going to go ahead and, and put some drops of ink down. So this is the Wild Wheat. And I'm just putting two or three drops. You do not need a lot of the ink. The ink goes a very long way. I'm going to add my Moody Moth. And Copper Clay. Pecan pie. And pebble path. And then I've got I've got some other ink already on the tray and it is um, some kind of a violet or a violet mixture. I don't remember exactly what it is, but that'll be handy to have out as well. So okay, so those are my colors. I've got my my medium water painter here. And I've got a I also have a cup of water off to the side. So I'm just going to start very lightly. Let's start with the pears. Actually, before I begin, let me just double check, make sure that... Okay, there is Beverly. Good morning, Beverly. Good morning, Ginger. Yes, she's very cute. She's very cute and very mischievous. Hold on, I'm getting some funny messages here. I gotta get rid of those. Okay, so there we go. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. That's better. All right, so here are my pears. So I'm starting with the wild wheat. I'm just gonna get those started. go. Now, I'm thinking autumn, and of course as the leaves begin to begin to dry out and lose their 
their chlorophyll, they get, they start turning a um, more brown, more red kind of color. So let me see if, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a drop of blue on here. Let's see, what do we have here? Let's try this. I'm going to just put a drop of blue so I can mix it with the wild wheat. I want to see if I can get a nice autumnal looking green. I think that'll work. Okay. I do not have pears. I do have a pear tree, but it doesn't bear fruit because I only have the one and you need two with the pears. I'd love to have a pear tree, so that's something on my on my wish list. Okay, so they're looking pretty good. Now maybe, maybe you want to have a little bit of a pink blush in your pair. You can add a little, little of that. Um, give it that nice extra color. And then what we want to do is get this a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave those alone, let them dry for a minute. While they're drying, I'm going to go to my acorn. So let's see. Um, I'm going to use the copper clay for the acorn. And then for the top, I'm going to go into my pecan pie. I'll let that dry a little bit. And while those are drying, I'm going to grab my oak leaf cluster here. Now the oak leaves, there are different types of oaks. You've got the white oak, the red oak, the pin oak, and, and others. But most of the oak trees around Dandelion Cottage have leaves that turn a kind of a golden brown. Um, and then there are the others that, that turn that gorgeous kind of a mahogany color. But I want the, the leaves to contrast with the acorn, so I'm going to go with the golden color.
This stamp set also comes with corresponding dies, which is always great. So um, I'm going to be using, when I finish these paintings, I'm going to cut them out using the dies and I'm going to be using them on tomorrow's card pr project. I should say paper crafting project because it's not going to be just cards. It's going to be an adorable little treat box and I'm very excited about it. So make sure you, you have the time on your calendar, 2, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have Paper Crafting Thursday, and I'm going to take what I do today and use that to make something really cute tomorrow. And it's perfect for Thanksgiving, it's perfect for Halloween, and you could even use them for Christmas. So you'll want to see that. I love the stamp sets that are so versatile, as this one is, that you can really get a lot of use out of them and make many very different types of projects. This, this stamp set called Fruitful Blessings is definitely one of those sets. So if you don't have it, stay tuned because I think you're, you're gonna wanna get it. And I will have a special offer for you that will help um, give you a little more bang for your buck. So stay tuned for tomorrow's. All right, so this is just about done. I'm going to go back to those other ones. Let this one dry a little bit. Let's see how my pears are doing. They're still pretty damp, but I think I'll be able to add a few more touches. Now the tops of these acorns have a little bit of texture, so I'm going to go ahead and indicate that. go okay so so there's my pears ready to be cut out my um, my little acorn actually I could let me just 
put another stroke over here. There you go, that's better. So there's my pears and my acorn. I'll go back to this one and add a couple of touches here. And I may, once these are completely dry, I may go back and add a few more details, but I think you get the idea. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just using my water-based inks as if they were watercolors, and I'm, and I'm applying all the same concepts that I would use regardless of whichever medium and that and those are the concepts that are in the current class which is coloring apples four ways and you can learn all about it there okay so that is some of what you can do with this beautiful fruitful blessings set and I think you can uh, you can clearly see all the wonderful applications you'll be able to have using these various motifs for autumn designs and that's what I'll be showing you tomorrow so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I've given you some ideas. Stay well. <laughs> Polly Wog says hello. Well, actually, she's going to say goodbye. So let's see if we can get her to look up at the camera. No, she's, she's too squirmy. She's got things to do. So anyway, but Polly Wog says goodbye. Stay well. Stay happy. Stay creative. And I will see you next time.